It's the Brick Wall Non-Denominational Holiday Special! Just kidding! Merry Christmas, everybody! Tonight, we have local Long Island legends, Ken Magori and The Achievements! Plus, a special holiday video from Thursday Shoots and one from The Dog Show! But first, your host, Peter Coleman! Shit, it's great to be here. I'm Peter Coleman, and this is a very special episode of The Brick Wall. Special because it happens to be the second night of Hanukkah. Yeah! yeah. And it's also the 13th night of ABC's 25 Days of Christmas. So thanks for taking a break from your pals Frosty and Rudolph to be with us tonight. And where are we, you ask? Well, we're here at The Brick Wall, PATV's open mic show. Want to get involved? It's simple. Email patvbrickwall at gmail.com and we will get you into the studio to make us laugh or tap our feet with delight. Don't want to perform but still want to get involved? Well, then creep our socials fam at patvbrickwall on Twitter and Insta. I'm too old to be saying things like this. Hit our DMs so we don't feel so lonely this holiday season, please. Also, be sure to like PATV Long Island on Facebook so you can check us out anytime we go live. All right, all right, all right, enough of that hubbub. We have a lot of music to listen to tonight, so let's get right to it. Ladies and gentlemen, Ken McGorry and the Achievements. <laughs>
Thank you. Damn. Uh, all right. That is Ken McGorry and the achievements. And what an achievement you guys have made. Uh, that was awesome. Ken, great totally job. Do. It, it, you're just constantly yeah. achieving. Yeah. Overachievers, some might say. How long have you guys been performing together? Well, we have different starts. Do you not? We started oh. in 72 and then 79 and then uh, last month. So. Uh, you, 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 all this stopping and starting yeah. must be confusing. But uh, sure. well, uh, look at us. More or less, <laughs> 40 years together, something like that. Yeah. 40 plus years. Oh, right, yeah. That's a long friggin' time, and you guys yeah. can still stand each other. Yeah. Not really, no. No. It's just when the camera's on. We can still stand. That's the power of the brick wall. We bring mortal enemies together to play beautiful music for you people. Um, you guys, man, I'm so excited for the rest of the show. But first, um, we're going to be back in a little bit for a, a full set from the achievements. But first, we have a video from the awesome sketch comedy group uh, and uh, filmmakers production company called Thursday Shoots. Uh, you all know, uh, what does that say? You all, you all know who can see you. Oh, there we go. You all know who can see you when you're sleeping and you know when you're awake. No, no, it's not, it's not that jolly POS. I'm, I'm talking about that creepy elf on a shelf. You don't know who I'm talking about? Well, let's take a look. You'll see. <laughs> Hey. Uh, oh, oh. Hey. Uh, it's Sophia. I, it's alright, come on in. Is that, I mean... I'm, I'm babysitting. Sophia. Sophia, it's cold out. Come back inside. Yeah, Tom's here. Don't you want to say hi? Hi! Hi! Sorry, dude. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I see you found Rarity. Rural what? You know, Rarity from Equestria. My Little Pony. She's the one with purple hair, obviously. And the diamonds on her represent her great sense of fashion. That's yours? Uh, no, it's my sister's. Great. You should really check out the show, though. It's actually really funny for a kid's show. Weird Al Yankovic is in one episode. He plays Cheese Sandwich. His arch rival is Pinkie Pie. Anyway, thanks for letting me crash here, dude. Yeah, no problem, dude. You sure you're okay with the couch? I mean, I think I have an air mattress in a crawl space somewhere. I could go. Don't, don't sweat it. Yeah, this is this is great. Oh well, um, I gotta go upstairs and you know, babysit. So I got you this. Uh, it's a festive blanket. Doesn't really match the sheet and pillow though. That doesn't really matter. Thanks, man. Uh, I guess I'll just clear some of this stuff. Oh yeah. Uh, just throw it on the floor. It's fine. Sure. Yeah, I was supposed to move it yesterday. I just sort of didn't. I'll clean it up in the morning. All right. That's quackers. Kitty Whiskers. Oh! Oh, hey, you found Elfie. Great job. That's awesome. Elfie? Seriously, you don't know Elfie? It's Elf on a Shelf? Ugh. Get with the times, dude. He's not from Equestria. He's from Santa's workshop. <laughs> I can't believe you haven't heard the story of Santa's littlest helper. Basically, he was too small to use any of the tools, and he was too weak to carry the boxes. Too short to see out of the back of Santa's sleigh. So Santa found a really special, perfect job for Elfie. Elfie goes around to all the different children's houses, acts as Santa's eyes, and then updates him on whether they should be on the naughty or nice list. So my parents move it around the house, and uh, Sophia thinks it's alive and that it's watching her, so she stays on her best behavior for Christmas. Still sounds pretty creepy. No, it's not. It's fun. You're confusing weird with fun, Tom. I don't think I am. <laughs> oh, that's my cue. Um, if you need anything, what's mine is yours, bathroom's right down the hallway. Um, if you want any food, just take whatever's in the fridge, totally fine. Um, but I gotta go make sure that she gets to sleep, and make sure you get some rest too. Good night. Thanks again, dude. Yeah. Oh, 
holy. He is way too committed to this crap. this year. Now you'll die. Good morning, Sophia. Sophia, did you see where Tom went? Um, no. Oh, uh, I guess he went home. Want some breakfast? Peanut butter? Shit, he ate it all. Philip, that's a bad word. Oh, sorry. Say sorry to Elfie. Uh, I, yeah. I, I, I'm I'm sorry, Elfie. Uh, please just don't tell Santa, okay? And I'll, I'll never say a bad word again. Not at least till after New Year's. Did you want peanut butter for breakfast? Tom ate all the peanut butter. Did you eat the peanut butter?
thank you. Uh, I'm here because you broke something. It's uh, actually inspired by one of Greg Mead's, uh, our lead guitarist, first lead guitarist t-shirt. He has various slogans that we live by. <laughs> and that's what I want him. So uh, here's an older song. It's called I Walk Alone. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Something we started doing in uh, maybe 78 or 79. They've caught us a couple of times. Yeah. Doing it. All right, so uh, here's a new song. And uh, yeah, it's new. Island on me by the megaton 
Thank you. you. <laughs> That's the second time we've played that for an audience. Mm. Yeah. I think. But so, how about it? Uh, so here's, uh, here's something people used to like. <laughs> Thank you. Well, these folks might. We'll see.
Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, boy, I'm glad I sat down. Thank you so much. So Douglas Baldwin playing lead guitar with our lead guitarist, Greg Mead. Greg and Richard Mead are Mead brothers. More about that uh, mm -hmm. coming up, apparently, when we talk to Peter, the star of this show, every other week. I you were the star of the show. Uh-oh. Oh, he's still here. Oh, man, I thought we were talking about an in, in absentia. <laughs> so, so we were uh, we were told to play five songs, and we're gonna do that. Damn it, this is our fifth song. We have other stuff, but you know. Anyway, so this is our fifth song. Then Peter, who I was referring to, is supposed to come back and entertain you. Um, so this uh, is a new, new kind of new song called She Changes Everything. I love this song.
Gold Star. <laughs> Stick around, we're gonna interview these guys in just a minute, but first, let's take a trip down memory lane. Here's one of our favorite holiday sketches we've had on the brick wall, performed by our old pals, The Dog Show. Let's see those dogs run. Oh, so, uh, you know, we got that Office Secret Santa thing going on. Yeah, uh, who'd you get, by the way? Oh, I got uh, Jane from accounting. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah do you know yeah. who you got yet? I have no idea. Mm. Mary Klesnik. It's the Got the Foreign Guy for Office Secret Santa sketch. All right! Come on! Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mary Klesnik. Hi, Klesnik. Oh, I... I see you have a gift. Oh, yes. Thank you. Hmm. It's a stapler. Oh, yes. Looks a lot like the stapler I lost a couple of days ago. Oh, yes. <laughs> Is it my stapler? <laughs> yes. No. Oh. Well, oh, uh, Krishnik, I don't know how you celebrate Christmas back from wherever you come from. <laughs> but you see, here, you don't steal something, something a person owns and you give it back to them. No. No. <laughs> you think of something the person doesn't already have and you give them that. <laughs> oh, I'd be right back. Oh, boy. The next day. Uh, I see you're back. Oh, yes. You have another gift. Oh, yes. My uncle's beard. Why? You say give you something you don't have. You don't have beard. Yeah. I understand I don't have a beard. I, <laughs> I appreciate the thought, but I don't want a beard. It's nice beard. <laughs> yeah, well, what am I supposed to do with a beard? Uh, you wear it on your face. Look, you wear it on your face. No, go away. No, no. <laughs> I'm not accepting this. I'm sorry. Sad, Kreshnik. <laughs> Look, Kreshnik, I appreciate this. I really do. But a beard is not something I need. Need? Yeah, you know, need. Oh, I'll be right back. Later that day. <laughs> <laughs> Who is she? This is my sister. <laughs> Svetlana. What could make you possibly think I need your sister? Oh, no, 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 she needs you. She needs citizenship. <laughs> Need strong men plow me like ox. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right! That was great. Okay, off the stage. Get, we gotta, we're done. We're done. We're done. So get hey, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, I am now going to interview these fine gentlemen. Good God, there's so many of you. All right. Uh, let's get started with the Brothers Mead. Um, you guys have been performing with Ken McGorry the longest. How long have you how long have you known this guy? 1972. That's that's yep. a long since 1970. That's a long time. And how old were you when you first started playing music? I was 8. I, I started Could you even lift brother, a guitar? My older brother gave me his old Sears acoustic guitar cuz he got an electric guitar Ooh. and uh, I picked it up and taught myself to play it. Really? Yeah. And never stopped. And then and then you got so jealous that eventually you picked it up too. I started playing drums when I was about 11 or something like that, but, uh, yeah. We used to he, sit at home and, and listen to the radio and learn every song that was on the radio, and the two of us would sing them just in the bedroom together. We'd sit, sit and I'd play guitar, and whatever was on the radio, I pretty much learned it, and, and we did it, and we've been doing it ever since. Mm -hmm. and Gre Greg and Richard, you, you guys have a long history in Great Neck, a long family history. Yeah. What, 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 how long has your family been there? Um, well, our father was born in Great Neck in 1908, but his grandfather was there before that. 
Damn. Okay. And then American, doesn't American one of your from Port Washington. <laughs> yeah, hey, let's hear it for Port Washington. Yeah. Port Washington and Great Neck coming together. All of these all of these fine people are are New York natives, by the way. That's uh, I think that's we've never had seven people, eight people on this stage all at once, all New Yorkers. Give a shout out for New York. Cause we're 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 that we're we're, we're just cool. Um and you have, isn't there a street named after one of your, one of your grandfathers? Yeah, our, our, our grandfather on our father's side, uh, Thomas Mead, was a builder in Great Neck. And um, he built a lot of houses, and his wife's maiden name was Crampton. And so he, they named him after his wife? There is a street in Great Neck called Crampton Avenue, and our grandfather built every house on that street. That's, that's pretty cool. Yeah, some of them might have been rebuilt, but we don't know that. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. Um, Bill, Bill Intimate on the drums. Give it up for Bill. Hello. Hello. Is this thing on? Is it on? Can you hear him? Is it on? Are we good? Talk, Bill. Check. Yes. Great. It is yes. On. Okay, it's good. definitely on. Bill, tell us, uh, what, what, what do you do? Uh, what do I do? Well, now I, uh, now I play drums. Uh, but uh, I, I guess you could call me a recovering attorney. Oh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, and, and how long have you been in recovery? Uh, it's, it's been a few years now. I, I started out as a drummer. I went to law school late. And then I, I worked in corporate law for a number of years. And... Now I'm kind of back to being a drummer. Because now you're, you're, you're in it for the money. No, obviously, yeah. <laughs> is there a 12-step program? Uh, yes. Get, yeah. it, it's, we, we, I go to a meeting every day. And, uh, it's called band practice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I'm up to about step 11, I think. So. Uh, and that, anybody know what the last step is? Yeah, it's, it's a big surprise. I'm, yeah, exactly. <laughs> And how long have you been playing with this group? Uh, I've, I've been playing with these guys off and on for 40 years in various configurations. Oh, my God. All right. That's unfathomable to me. I can't believe you guys are all still such good friends. This is, I know, it really is. Who's next? Dan, Dan, Dan Gabus. Don. Don. I'm sorry. Don. Oh, that's a uh, diamond Don. Thank you I, very much. I wrote it. I'm sorry. It's the sorry. second line of my thing. It, got, it looked like an A. I know. I'm it's sorry, a long Don. A in the. Will you forgive me, Don? <laughs> of course, you're forgiven. Thank you. Thank you, Don. Of course. Uh, Don, mm -hmm. you're the hardest working man in show business, according uh, to these guys. Away. I can't catch a break. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I was working, you know, a little bit here. I'm in like three or four different bands. How? How many have you? How many gigs have you had this week so far? Saturday, Sunday. Uh, Tuesday and tonight, so far. And boy, are your arms tired. <laughs> uh, among other things, yes. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Car Place, which is the home of uh, uh, Steve Vai and uh, Joe Satriani. Yeah, I heard of those guys. Yeah, Joe, Joe played uh, bass <laughs> in a band I was in in high school. No kidding. For Battle of the Bands, yeah, it was great. What was, what was you like in high school? Well, you know, <laughs> high school, well, I, I was never there, so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Better, bigger and better things to it do. It seemed like fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who's next? Uh, Paul Brokaw. Where we got? Hello. Broke. Hello. Paul Broke Brokaw. Hello. Paul, yes. where are you from? For Washington. Right here. You probably have half your family this watching this show right now, huh? Uh -huh. Pardon? No. No? no Did no. you tell your family that you were on this, or are you well, trying to keep it incognito? Oh. Do you still have friends in Port Washington that are watching you right now? I think yeah. so. No? No? <laughs> maybe one or two. Well, I don't know. Maybe you'll make some new ones. Maybe. What do you, uh, what's your thing, Paul? What do you do? Uh, we have a video production company called Media Mechanics. We're nice. We're Centerport. And we do videos and jingles and radio commercials. And Anything we'd recognize? Music for TV. <laughs> That's you? Well, yeah, I played it on the on synthesizer, yeah. Oh, cool. Did you write that piece? No, it was actually written, it was a retake of an old jingle that they had. And uh, these guys sang on it, actually. Really? Gene and Greg. I didn't even realize how many times I'd heard you guys uh, before. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're everywhere. That's wild. It's a median universe. That's pretty freaking cool. And it's called Media Mechanics? Yes, sir. And, and where are you located? Centerport. In Centerport. For all of your video production needs. Please, of course. Thank you, sir. Next up, Mr. Douglas Baldwin 
Oh, you guys, you guys you, jam so well together, by the way. Oh. I love you two playing off each other. We, you got we, some real chemistry. We love playing off of each other as it is, yeah. You, uh, you're, you're the newbie in the group. I'm the newbie. How long you been with these guys? Uh, what, a month and a half. <laughs> but you've known them for longer. I've known them, and we've all played in various configurations. Gotcha. It's just that I am now with with the achievements. I worked right. my way up. You, you have achieved achievement. That's right. You finally earned your stripes. That's right. It took long enough, but you got there. <laughs> we all had faith in you. You, uh, you. you have a pretty cool day job, I guess you could call it. Yes, well, uh, my big new gig is as music director for The Coasters. The Coasters. The Coasters. Ladies they, and gentlemen. They were. <laughs> The Coasters were the first group to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Is that right? The Ooh. first group. Damn! Yep. I didn't know that. So it's, it's a very cool gig. It's very, uh, it's a lot of fun. The Coasters are a great bunch of guys. Yeah? And uh, yeah, it's, a, it's just a, a pleasure to do. How long have you been with so, them now? Um, well, uh, full time for just a few months now. Part time, I was, uh, I was subbing as their music director uh, for uh, Oh, a little over a year ago, I, I began working with them. But they like you enough. They gave you the full-time job. <laughs> so do, you, do they travel a lot? Uh, up and down the East Coast, primarily. Yeah. Yeah. So we're all over the place. We're uh, we're here on Long Island on a on a regular basis, and uh, uh, all around uh, the Northeast. They're East Coasters. They they are the ah! East Coasters. But a boom. Very nice. I'm sure it's been a heck of a ride with the coasters. Um, a I'm veritable roller coaster. I'm sure ride. no one's ever made that joke before, ever. First time right here on the brick wall. Um, cool. Yeah. Super cool. And and let's not forget. Yes. The actual star of the show tonight. Thank I mean, you. you guys are all the stars. But Ken McGord. <laughs> Well, that's all the time we have. Yeah. No, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm kidding. Yeah, we have stuff to do. We have another gig after this. What, it's only 11 o'clock. <laughs> Got to be a bar open somewhere around here. Um, that's right. You guys, you, you, you do a regular gig at Publicans. Well, we used to uh, in the 70s. Now that's over. But, um, <laughs> so we, a while uh, back, okay. We uh, have, they're having us back to do this. Uh, I don't know if they know that we do this because they are they're under new management that we know they know that we do something So maybe they'll see this and they'll be like, oh, they do that <laughs> what, what, what do they think you do? Well, they know that we have the Mead brothers, you know The Mead brothers have their band for uh, 40 some years. Oh, you they, played with the Mead brothers used to be at Publicans. Mead brother uh, way gotcha. back. And then we have done some original uh, shows there a couple of years ago now it's under new management and they're having us back uh, and we're recording that uh, show for a live album. When is that show? It is January 17th, a Wednesday. Mark your calendars. <clears throat> at 8.30. Awesome. And uh, it's slightly after, just moments after the dinner hour. Perfect. Come early, fill up, then listen. You have another album too, right? Well, yeah. Uh, with. Paul Brokaw, uh, us in various configurations so in recent years have uh, recorded uh, an album's worth of studio recordings, including um, She Changes Everything and uh, <clears throat> I'm Here Because You Broke Something, which is based on, uh, we did it earlier, it's based on... Named after it broke. Well, it's it is now on the on the set list, but it actually comes from one of Greg's uh, T-shirts. His T-shirts typically have uh, some kind of uh, memento on them that we something words to live you mean, like, by. Like something that you didn't wash off from the previous show, or well, what kind of memento? I'm in a, I'm in a technical field uh, as my day job, and uh, so it, it's humorous to walk into an office with a shirt that says, "I'm here because you broke something." Uh, so we saw the shirt and we're like, man, great country weeper, too. <laughs> you, and, uh, so then how about never will we'll be on that new album? All right. Now, it, it has been said that you have written some of the best songs that we've never heard. Who yes. said that? One of you guys said that. Right there. He's the only guy who says it. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully we're going to remedy that with this show and now everyone will hear. Uh, that's, uh, and you're, you're an author too. Yeah. 
Yes, I am. Yes, he is. Be proud. What is the name of your book? Ghost Hampton is my first uh, novel that's seen the light of day. Did pretty well uh, last year, and the sequel is in the works. Uh, it's part of a trilogy that has been promised by me to two or three people. <laughs> and working, I'm working you got to please the fans. Working with a great editor, and we're excited to get that out. And what's it about? A uh, haunted town somewhere in the Hamptons. The first one is set in Bridgehampton, and the second one is set in Sag Harbor. Wow, okay. It's fun. It's really, and the people in Sag Harbor are really cool. The real, the living people. The actual ones <laughs> that you based the book on? No, not really. They, they just give me info. Okay. You know, and they talk to me, and it's really cool. Nice. Um, now, we got one more song that, we're, that, that, that you're going to play, and it's sort of, uh, what would you call it? Well, it's reminiscent of uh, our early uh, days, uh, having moved to Great Neck to join Richard and Greg. We couldn't stand to be away from them. And, wow. Is that and, the Bee Gees? <laughs> and, uh, Is that you guys? Yeah. What? So at that, at that point in time, we, uh, we recorded this song, which was based on things uh, that our sound man, Joe, who's here with us tonight, and I saw in our sink in our new kitchen in Great Neck. Okay. All right. Well, um, they're going to play us out with, uh, with that uh, song. In the meantime, thank you so much. That was an awesome show. Thank you to Ken McGorry and the Achievements for rocking our socks off. Hold on one sec there. The Achievements, that's Greg Mead, Richard Mead, Bill Intimate, Dan Gibbs, Paul Brokaw, Douglas Baldwin, and their sound guys, Joe, uh, 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 Powell. Sorry, Joe Powell and Terry Gabus also there. Thanks for coming out, guys. Thank you to Thursday Shoots for creeping us right the hell elf out Ooh. for the holidays. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Uh, email us to get involved, patvbrickwall at gmail.com. Uh, thanks to the dog show. All right. Merry, Chris Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Festivus. Merry Kwanzaa. Good night. And one more time. One more time. Ken McGorry in the achievements. Give it up. <laughs> Chess cockroaches. I am turning out the light. Oh, God's creatures should be sleeping in my kitchen. You are creeping too. Oh, I tried friendly persuasion. All the sprays and all the bombs. I am braced for the invasion from a land of the swaying palms. When a snow
Thank you so much. Thanks, PATV. Yeah. yeah. You're the best. Very hospitable. <laughs> Want to vamp out on something? Yeah, jam out. Go ahead. <laughs> so, do we love it? Do you love it? Yeah. yeah. Sure. We start or just vamp out? We haven't replayed this in a <laughs>